who made the decisions to make both the American economy and government into instruments of violent oppression of U.S. citizens into a secret and fascist state. Only fascists make social decisions in the world and only fascists execute those decisions. How are fascists allowed to infiltrate, permeate, and dominate every nook and cranny of American society? I didn't authorize any of this. Did you? Science and technology have been taken over by mad scientists and insane industrialists. These scientists have demonstrated extreme bias favoring the elite. The predators have taken over control of the world. And one way they've done this is by overcomplicating everything. Simplification is key in unifying purpose. The elite, with the help of science and technology, have created this absurd, complicated society to confuse, divide, and dominate us. And this insane complication of human lives has created enormous and debilitating stresses on people. Since the beginning of the Reagan presidency, Things have gotten so much worse. But the middle class and young people have been conditioned to accept it. They believe all this fascist police state technology is wonderful and just a welcomed inevitability. Being born into this slave state, they don't recognize their own slavery to the technology that oppresses them. Children being born into and raised under today's fascism, don't know the world wasn't always like this. And due to elitist media saturated misinformation and their own parents' apathy, they aren't being told any different. The number one cause of death of children in this country is malnutrition and poverty and social and economic stress are the two major causes of American death overall. Science has proven that poverty, contemporary social stresses, and science and technology themselves are the real threats to social health and safety. But we've been conditioned through the Milgram's and Bernays effects to overlook this reality. Poverty and other social stresses cause artery and vein damage, heart disease, asthma, obesity, diabetes, headaches, depression, anxiety, gastrointestinal problems, ulcers, heartburn, irritable bowel syndrome, Alzheimer's disease, accelerated aging, and premature death. But the mad scientists do nothing about these social stresses but add to them. In fact, they help create and profit from them. Instead of addressing the actual causes of health and safety threats, they've decided to create scapegoats and cigarette smokers are the perfect patsies. Scientists ignore their own role in making humanity emotionally and physically sick. Science has continually lied to us for over two centuries now. They lied about the health effects of both pot and tobacco. We didn't want the legalization of one issue while criminalizing another. We didn't want legalized pot in a police state that drives the cost of pot so high it's a financial burden for most people to use it. They're doing the same crap with tobacco, making it too expensive for the common to use it. This way they don't have to criminalize pot or tobacco. 
They just make it too expensive for anyone but the elite to use either substance. Science has lied to us about the benefits of the machine age, too. Machines and automation have greatly contributed to these social stresses. They told us machines would free us from the daily drudgery of manual labor. They lied. Industrialization has led to nothing but environmental damage and more intense slavery. A slavery now not only to the elite, but also to the very machines owned by the elite that they promised would free us from their slavery. Machines were meant to contribute to humanity, not enslave it. They were meant to enhance society, not to take it over. Businesses no longer wish to offer consumers products. They now insist upon forcing products on us. They make society dependent on their products and pass laws to force our patronage. Just look at the computer industry as just one example of this. And all you have to do is look at light bulbs and the digital conversion at the turn of the century to see just two other examples of this. Instead of making the elite sell the new light bulbs at a cheaper price, scientists and industrialists force the government to convert all of America into using these new, more expensive light bulbs. This forced conversion benefited only the elite and no one else. Before that, the elite passed a law to force all broadcast signals to become digitized. But older TV sets didn't pick up these signals. Everyone who could afford it was forced to buy expensive new digital TVs and the sales of TV sets skyrocketed, and so did corporate profits. If you were among the 75 million Americans who couldn't afford these new overpriced TVs, then the elite created a government program that used tax dollars to help the poor buy digital converter boxes. The elite used the government to force the requirement to buy another specific overpriced product and then use your tax dollars to steal even more profits from those who couldn't afford the new overpriced product. They forced the combustion engine and computers on all of us too. And who created all of these new products? Scientists and engineers. They have helped the elite establish an Orwellian police state. Without the fascist scientists and engineers, this technological police state would be impossible. Science covers up its own part in the creation and implementation of the cashless economy, the surveillance society, and the police state. This forced digitization, this police state technology, created by science, has taken over human society. What the government used to warn us against, it now enforces against us in favor of elitist police state control and increased profits. Ever notice, for decades, law enforcement and financial experts wisely warned against long-term contracts in giving out our bank account information to anyone. But now, thanks mainly to the internet alone, what we were advised not to do for decades is now being forced on us. Cell phones, cable TV, internet access, and most every website 
demands both long-term contracts and our bank account information for automatic access to our money. Even many non-commercial websites demand credit card info just for access. The cashless society is what those experts were warning us about and it benefits only the elite. It gives them automatic and instant access to your bank account and money. And it makes you stealing their money impossible. But it makes their stealing your money easier than ever. And now the cashless society, along with electronic identification, has taken over humanity. I don't want to be electronically identified, forced into long-term contracts, or to give my bank account information out to anyone. But the predators of the world have made these decisions for me. I and my entire species am now being punished for the blind stupidity of apathetic and gullible people. The plastics and card production industries are profiting greatly from the implementation of this belief state as well. Tap cards are taking over society. The requirement to purchase user cards for subways and buses are becoming commonplace. And one must now apply for an additional card to receive discounted public transportation when, in the past, merely showing driver's licenses and Medicare cards were sufficient in receiving these discounts. I've now been forced into possession of numerous plastic cards that are mandatory just for my everyday survival. Science is pushing the lives of billions of people backwards. Thanks to the removal of charging for long distance per call, I am now required to buy long distance cards and now I must dial 31 numbers to make a long distance call from my home. And thanks to those tracking device cell phones, calling my neighbor is now likely to be a long distance call. I now must buy a card and give access to my bank account to coin laundry machine companies and place on that card five times more money than is needed just to do my laundry. I refuse to do this, so I'm not even allowed to do my laundry anymore. We don't need any more user cards or databases to store personal information or computerized tyranny. Science has handed the elite the technological means to make their rule permanent and more brutal and intrusive than ever before. Police departments have embraced civil asset forfeiture, ERAD, electronic recovery and access to data machines, to steal your money without warrants or legal due process. Now, thanks to science, the government can illegally take your money at will without criminal charge or court conviction. Scientists and engineers have created the cashless economy and surveillance society and made the police state a reality. Through biometrics, face recognition technology, tracking chips inserted into products and human bodies, surveillance drones, radar sweeps of residential homes, license plate scanning and traffic monitoring, the elite 
and science and technology have formed a fascist alliance to enslave all of humanity. I didn't authorize any of this. Did you? The elite, engineers, and scientists don't have the right to dictate the direction of all of humanity. Stay the hell out of my life. Scientists and engineers have declared themselves enemies of humanity. They've chosen the side of fascism over human freedom and human rights. In my next video, entitled, I didn't authorize this, did you? I'll continue the discussion on the alliance between the insane elite, mad scientists, and predatory engineers. Please share this video and my Equalism channel with as many non-predators as you can. Thanks.